All right, what we have here now is a, uh, this is one I just did in a couple videos ago. I went to connect it up and uh, never really messed with the tuner very much, but after turning it on, I found out that it is not an FM tuner. It is a DEF M tuner. It's very deaf. There's, uh, the signal lights don't work at all. Um, when I do pump enough signal into it to get a clear signal, I still get zero bars here. Um, obviously something going on with the tuner. So anyhow, um, FM and AM are both, I mean, they pick up a signal, but none of the signal meters don't work. We don't get stereo. Um, seems pretty deaf. So what I've done is pretty much connected up some speakers, connected up the signal generator, and as you can see, I'm tuning into 96.7 FM. I'm at 90 dBm, minus 90. And uh, as you can hear, we're getting some sound. And as I increase the amplitude, plus 10 dBm, and I'm still only getting one signal bar. And I'm way over over modulating so something weird going on in here and to make it worse there are no schematics available anywhere for this thing so I guess we're gonna have to go this one the hard way and try to figure things out as we go along so let's get it apart and see if we can make this work like I said the amps been all done in the in a previous video so let's see if we have the same amount of luck with the tuner. All right, here's where we are. Right now, on the plus 15 volts, I got plus 15 volts right here. And I'm assuming it's supposed to be plus 15. I have everything connected up but this tuner board. Well, it's got the tuner and the inputs that go through it. But I think that's just a pass-through from there. Mainly, this is the tuner board. If I connect the power to the tuner board, which is this red wire right here, if I touch it, I can hear my tuner come on. However, my voltage goes down to less than 9 volts. When I take it away, tuner shuts off, my power supply goes back up to 15. Also, with the tuner hooked up, this transistor gets really hot. With this not hooked up, it's nice and cool as a cucumber. So, whatever we've got here, we've got a problem on here. Now, I found this out by tracing the LEDs from here back through this plug onto this LED driver chip. I did look that up online, as you can see, and I pinned it out, and sure enough, there was only 8 volts feeding it, which I thought that was kind of strange, even though I don't have schematics. So, right now we're looking at either a leaky transistor, leaky component, or more than likely, I did not recap this board for obvious reasons. There's a million little tiny capacitors, but dollar to a donut, that's probably what it's going to be. So, I think I'm going to start looking through. I just spot checked the voltages around the caps. It's really hard to tell short of just shotgunning the capacitors in this, which is, I don't like to do that. I'm not really sure how else uh, to deal with this. I hate to do that, but in the long run, that really is the right thing to do. So, I guess that's where I'm headed. Okay, so I've done a little bit of research here. I disconnected the 15 volt supply. That's supposed to be 15 volts down there. I disconnected it from the tuner board and I put an external power supply and I fed 15 volts and at 15 it's only drawing 100 milliamps. So I really don't think there's a problem with this board now. And lo and behold, I'm at negative 80 dB, dBm and with the proper 15 volts instead of the 8, I'm actually starting to get response from my signal meter. So as I go up, at negative 40, I'm getting full signal strength. And as I go down, so 
I think we're down to a power supply problem. So one of those transistors on the power supply, is, or it's all been recapped, so obviously the transistor on the power supply is bad. And I think it might be this one right here, because it gets really hot when I put any kind of a load on it. So there may be something wrong with that transistor, but as it stands, that's what it looks like the problem is, and uh, I'm going to get on that power supply and figure it out, and then we can see if maybe we can trim this up a little bit if possible. Okay, we replaced <clears throat> this transistor, this transistor, and this transistor. They are all in that line on that 15 volts. Brought my voltage up to a little over 12, which uh, is pretty good. And now we have full function. I can pull in stations. It's even bringing in stereo. It never did that before. So I would say, and I didn't recap all this, um, I changed a couple of the big ones, but the, all the little ones I left alone, I, they looked good. I didn't see any reason to change them. And uh, I think we got it all fixed. It's uh, very sensitive. I'm down here in the basement, a little piece of wire, and uh, I'm pulling in stations now. So I think I'll call this repaired, and uh, hopefully this is the last problem this little receiver will have, because I really like it. It's a good receiver. So time to get it all cleaned up and put away, and uh, that's it.